Drivers are paying 50 cents more than what they were paying for gas around the 4th of July. And believe it or not, some of it is related to the heat. Westwood's Juan Munoz explains why and if there's any relief in sight. In the last two weeks, Florida gas prices shot up 30 cents, leaving drivers feeling a little bit uncomfortable. From Pontiana to out here, it's a killer on gas. It was 369. I, I could have sworn I saw 369 last night, and the same gas station was 389 today. And she's right. According to AAA, this week prices rose another 20 cents. The reason for that is the rising demand for fuel, but more importantly, record breaking hot temps, which impact oil refineries. A lot of refineries, they're outdoors. Refinery activity right now along the Gulf Coast, which is who supplies our gasoline, that's down about four percentage points below what it normally is this time of year. And that means less gas, not enough to make you rush to the pumps from a shortage crisis. But it is definitely an impact on prices because there's less gasoline in the market than what there normally would be. And while gas prices might be high right now, we are still in a much better place than where we were this time last summer. This time last year, AAA says Florida gas prices were at $3.90 a gallon, which is eight cents higher than the current average of 382. And oil prices fell Wednesday as the U.S. financial markets also dropped following a downgrade in the U.S. government's credit rating. And as the summer season winds down, the demand for gas should too, leaving experts optimistic about prices either staying the same or starting to drop. But the wild card is hurricane season. If we have a hurricane that moves into the Gulf of Mexico that threatens the refineries along Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, that could trigger higher gas prices. In Orlando, Luana Munoz, WESH 2 News.